Okay, guys, I am unboxing my G Track Pro, which was a gift to me from my beautiful wife. Hopefully, this will improve the sound quality of some of my videos, and y'all have seen some of my previous videos up here in the corner about redoing that area over away from the AC unit that's directly above our head right now. I do a lot of my videos here on this glass counter, um, both so that I can tap on it and so that I can, uh, it has good lighting coming from this direction. Unfortunately, if we look up and around, I'm right by the door. So um, when somebody comes in or you know somebody needs to come in the door, I have to stop and um, recording and move the camera and all that. So hopefully one day over there in the corner, which I have not done anything on since the last video, um, one day that will become my new little backdrop office area. But in the meantime, I am tired of seeing my nice, really nice microphone um, sitting in a box. So it is time to unwrap this bad boy and hopefully plug it up and we will be getting y'all better sound quality. And I was just, what made me think about doing this was a video that I was just about to do and the camera was kind of where it is now, but I'm sitting over with the backdrop of my door and I've done a few videos. I like that backdrop showing, showing this over here with me kind of sitting on that stool, you know, with Yoda in the picture and Jackson over here. However, with the camera way over here to get that, not using one of my wide angle lens attachments, it, uh, my voice, I have to raise my voice and that's why in a lot of videos and I think it drives people crazy. It drives me crazy too, but it's just one of those things that can't be helped. I lower my voice. So like if I'm walking away, I'm raising my voice up so that you can hear me. And um, I have not tried a lapel microphone. Lapel microphones, they're still tethering you. There is no real option from what I've discovered to being able to record on your phone without a corded lapel mic, which tethers me. And of course, in my non-shop videos, ooh -hoo -hoo, in my non-shop videos, the, uh, you know, when I'm on the road or at a house or whatever, it's very, very difficult to be tethered to the phone with a lapel mic. I don't, and recording at the same time. I have not worked that out. In the meantime, yes, I do get almost constant worry over my sound so that number one explains why i raise and lower my voice and kind of talking an odd voice sometimes it's just because i don't know you know if i'm this far away or this far away it just you know so hopefully in my desk things this pretty awesome microphone if i can get it unbubble wrapped here well, uh, help. Um, another thing is, you know, I know a lot of people have done, uh, a few people have done videos about how to do the voice thing, how to do the, how to do your audio, how's the best audio, and uh, a lot of those people use a computer setup. Wow, that's a cool mic. Use a computer setup to edit their videos and move their video to their audio and sync it together with the with the audio desk or whatever this comes with a uh, download i guess i gotta provide my receipt there's no code or anything uh, maybe a free program and of course there's like garage band and all that on the iphone i have i'm trying i'm working on that now what the heck I'm working very diligently on learning my audio better. I've never been a great audiophile or whatever, but the past year and a half so of my continued videoing things. Okay, how long of a cord do I have here? So 
to make this work, I, there's no way to plug it directly in the phone. So, um, and this, does this come off? How do you get this off? Uh, not that way. Okay, so there's this plug in. So we got a power it there. And uh, that's a pretty nice mic. I mean, it's balling, man. Hello, my dear. No, that's I'm pushing it. Uh, connection to a computer using the uh, see. And when I get my desk built, that's my next plan of attack is to uh, have this set up and two cameras set up recording. Um, but this does all the cool, like figure eight, omnidirectional is everywhere, uh, only on one side. So hopefully I can rig this up so that I can, you know, put it over, put it over somewhere over there so that it can hear me and uh, have the camera and uh, I guess it's other. How long about? I think this is an eight foot cord. So that would reach for what I'm about to do. Um, now it's just a matter of uh, plugging it up. So obviously this goes into a USB port. And then you have a headphone and an in. Uh, again, me not knowing anything, me never having a professional microphone in my life much less one of this quality. It's not the most expensive, but it is a very nice microphone. Um, huge, very weighty bass. And I guess you can take this off the bass. And then here's all your mute, directional, uh, the mic, instrument, volume. Oh, okay, I remember now. The input, I think, is for a guitar. <laughs> Uh, if you want to plug, or your amp or whatever, so I'm not going to use that, but I think I plug in with the mic or phone port. But I have uh, Google research this. Apparently, I can record on my cell phone through that. So now, and it may require this. I think it is going to require the powered USB hub. Um, not a regular USB hub, but it has to be powered. So it's a USB hub that also powers. And then I think I plug this into that, and then this into a adapter, a camera three adapter, which I bought already. I'm gonna go grab all that. So let's see if we can plug this up and get it working. All right, according to some help, helpful people on YouTube, um, I would like to give a shout out to, I'm so sorry, but I can't remember his name. Um, he's a Really good audio file looks like. I'm going to link his channel right here in the corner. He goes over everything. He's like a master of garage band and, and getting stuff done. And he has a very, uh, he has a lower count. I like that. I like that he's he's got a good steady increasing thing. I, I, again, I'm sorry I can't remember. But um, through one of his videos, thanks again, I'm going to point out the um, camera three adapter, another uh, iOS to USB. I think it's called the camera image adapter or whatever. So it's got another lightning port right here and a USB port. So you would plug this into my phone. I would plug this into the phone just like I would a charging cable. And then I am gonna run the microphone to this, which will take my microphone into there or this goes into the hub okay now wait a minute i may need another cable this goes into the hub which the hub is plugged into a wall and then a usb maybe to usb which i may not have i'm going to go to the directions again and look because there is a series of cables that has to tie together correctly i am going to go ahead and open this because even if it does not work or if it's not needed I can always use a powered USB hub. So we'll go ahead and unbox this as well. 
and we are going to get this cable layout straight and come back to you with what I think is how it's supposed to work. Is this okay? That's the plug in and the USB port. So let me get number one this USB plugged in and uh, we'll be right back with you. I've never had a powered USB port. But again, this is going to go in my office area. This will be a stable piece. And eventually, I would like to get a. I've always been into PCs, but now the way my life is, it looks like I really need to delve off and try to find me a decent priced, uh, app, uh, not iPad, but a com Apple computer. Okay, so I just plugged in the camera adapter, and when I plugged it in with well, nothing else, it started updating it. And here is my exotic looking setup. I've got an extension cord stretched. Oh, I didn't mean to grab that, but stretched all the way over here. So with camera adapter, I can charge my phone at the same time. So I've got a charger that I'm gonna plug into the lightning port on that end. And the USB 3 from the back of the thing is going to go into the USB port here. And the microphone USB is run from over there and plugged in one of the four available USB ports. So once it's up, down, up, up, down, down to upgrading, uh, I'm just going to plug this in and see what happens. Uh, hold on. All right, so plugging this in. We got a charge going up here, so that works. And then we're gonna plug in the. Oh, everything just fell off the stool. I was afraid that was gonna happen. Come here. Okay, so now I'm gonna plug uh, this in here. Nope. There we go. Did anything happen? Nothing happened. Sue. So, I don't know, y'all. Let's, uh, let's just see. Come over here. Maybe this have to turn this on. Oh, it's on. Let's see, we want Omni figure eight. We want it in the middle. Cardoid, which means just this way. Uh, mono, because we're not doing two track. Got a convenient mic there. And volume. So it would be nice if I just pressed record on the camera over here and it recorded through that instead. So. Let's just go see. Let's go see if this is recording here. Or let's just go see if this is recording here. We may very well have to not recording anywhere I'll make sure I didn't flip the switch there so my volume control is not doing anything
Or let's just go see if this is recording here. Okay, guys. So, through a ridiculously complicated tangle of cables, I can have the microphone here and talk in a normal voice. So, since I've gone this far with it, not this to be a microphone review, but just one of the little challenges that I've had to face with the audio. I am going to now turn this off and clip it together with me talking so that it does not have the external microphone and see what happens so that you can tell the voice quality. Right now I'm talking in a pretty normal voice. I'm not having to raise my voice and hopefully with the omnidirectional microphone, it'll filter out that noise over there. So you can hear my, my rich, beautiful voice speaking to you in the camera. So let's see how this sounds, which is the new microphone, compared to how I usually have to talk when I know that the microphone is far away. Okay, so I've unplugged the microphone and I'm talking in the same voice that I was just a minute ago, however, presumably if everything is working correctly, it is picking up the noise level from here to there. So if you can't hear me right now, that means that this test works and I can feasibly get away with using this. Now I'm going to raise my voice like I normally would so that it would be loud enough for you to hear. So if you can see the difference now, then we definitely know we have a win with at least one option for better audio. Because I don't like having to raise the pitch of my voice like that so that it'll get across where I can normally speak where if I have this camera phone or microphone set up right, I can talk like I normally do and I don't have to raise my voice. So hopefully that'll help my throat some. And uh, in the meantime, I'm just gonna experiment with it. So if you have any comments or opinions or ideas, then let me know. <clears throat> if you have any comments or opinions or ideas, let me know. And uh, otherwise, we'll see you next video that I'll hopefully record with this if this video comes out. Thanks for watching guys and uh, more equipment for recording for you guys. It's all for you guys. And just a little bit for me.